The Arab Monetary Fund forecasts 5.4% growth for Arab economies, and QIA, ADQ, and Norway expected to take billions of dollars of Porsche shares. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Faraj. Arab Monetary Fund officials say Arab economies are expected to grow by 5.4% in 2022 compared with 3.5% in 2021. The rise will be driven by global demand levels, growth in the oil and gas sectors and Arab governments continuing to adopt stimulus packages to support economic recovery. The AMF says growth will decline in 2023 to about 4% in line with the decline in global economic growth and an expected drop in commodity prices. Volkswagen is looking to raise up to $9.41 billion in its Porsche IPO. Cornerstone investors, Qatar Investment Authority, Abu Dhabi's ADQ and Norway's Sovereign Wealth Fund are set to subscribe to preferred shares of up to $3.7 billion. Volkswagen says it will launch its Porsche brand on the Frankfurt stock market at between $70 and $75 billion. The indicative price will fall between $76 and $83 per share when it lists on September 29th. Nigeria, Morocco and the economic community of West African states have signed an MOU stipulating that all the countries crossed by the Nigeria-Morocco gas pipeline will contribute to its execution. This project will traverse the West African coast from Nigeria to Morocco. It will supply gas to all of the countries of West Africa and will open a new channel of export to Europe. Eventually, it will be connected to the Maghreb Europe gas pipeline and to the European gas network. Taiwan's export orders likely contracted for a second straight month in August and at a similar pace from the previous month as global demand cools. The median forecast from a poll of 13 economists surveyed by Reuters was for export orders to fall 2% from a year earlier. The island's export orders, a bellwether of global technology demand, unexpectedly fell in July when orders shrank 1.9% to $54.26 billion from a year ago period. China has stepped up spending on coal in the face of extreme weather, a domestic energy crunch and rising global fuel prices. It's raising concerns Beijing's policies may hinder the fight against climate change. China is the world's biggest emitter of the greenhouse gases driving global warming. And President Xi Jinping has vowed to reduce coal use from 2026. Beijing has committed to peaking its carbon emissions by 2030 and achieving carbon neutrality by 2060. Do Kwon, the wanted South Korean founder of the failed cryptocurrency Terra, denied he was on the run after the Singapore police said he wasn't in the city-state, as was believed. The collapse of Terraform Labs earlier this year wiped out about $40 billion of investors' money. A South Korean court last week issued an arrest warrant for Kwon. He took to Twitter to say, I am not on the run or anything similar, but he didn't reveal where he was. And a hacker has released gameplay from Grand Theft Auto 6 and one of the biggest leaks in gaming history. It's one of the best-selling video game franchises of all time, with the latest version forecast to generate $3.5 billion of bookings at launch and $2 billion annually thereafter. The hacker posted dozens of videos from the game on an online message board over the weekend. The hacker also posted a message seeking to negotiate a deal with games developer Rockstar Games or parent company Take-Two. I'm Ramya Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.